Fluor is one of the few global companies that can provide large-scale engineering, procurement, construction, and maintenance services to the mining industry in remote and challenging locations. 100 kilometers from Santo Domingo, surrounded by dense jungle, the Pueblo Viejo mine represents the largest foreign investment and largest construction project ever implemented in the Dominican Republic. The project includes renovation of a pre-existing mine and new construction of a gold processing facility for Barrick Corporation. Fluor successfully completed the feasibility study that led to project approval and is now providing EPCM services for this $3.8 billion effort. The job itself from end to end is almost 18 miles. It's on a mountaintop in the middle of the Dominican Republic, which it makes it quite a challenge from a logistics standpoint. We've got over 700 kilometers of cable and wire that's got to be pulled for the project. We've got over 100,000 cubic meters of concrete that we've got to place in the just the processing area itself, 75 kilometers of pipe. Floor is responsible for approximately 90% of the design, procurement, and construction of the process. So it's just the massive scale of the job. Uh, really, that's one of the impressive things about it. The coordination to mobilize and train thousands of workers with diverse backgrounds, languages, and skill sets is a critical activity. There are currently 7,800 people working at the site, representing 17 different nationalities. Roughly 90% of the construction craft are local Dominicans who were able to acquire employment and new skills at Fluor's on-site craft training center. Pueblo Viejo is designed as an environmentally responsible open pit mine. Because mineral deposits are located near the surface, there is no need for tunneling. Ore mined from the pits will be processed from the primary crusher to sag and ball grinders, pressure oxidation in the autoclaves, cyanidation, and finally to the refinery. You've got raw material that gets entered into a crushing facility where they basically take big rocks, make them into little rocks. And as it flows through the process, these rocks get down to a slurry, a liquid state, and then you extract the, what you're actually going for, in this case, gold. We've got 24,000 tons per day of ore that will be processed through the facility. Pueblo Viejo's sizable processing facilities are being constructed on a single narrow mountain ridge and are in very close proximity. The installation of large, heavy, one-of-a-kind equipment presents a challenge, particularly in terms of rigging and cranage. You can't take the chance of working on one facility and having an impact on an adjacent facility. The sequencing of the work has to really be fine-tuned just from the standpoint you have interdependencies between each adjacent structure. And you've got to make sure you've identified all those interdependencies for when you start your, uh, your earthwork all the way through your final piping and instrument and electrical fit-up. Both Barrick and Fluor place tremendous emphasis on safety. The Pueblo Viejo site celebrated a new Latin American industry safety milestone. The processing facilities are projected to produce up to 1 million ounces of gold per annum, 3.1 million ounces of silver, and 6,100 tons of copper. The Pueblo Viejo mine is progressing on schedule, and the plant is expected to be in production by early 2012.